YouTube. This is Jay, and normally I say from Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. But guess what? Today I have a great surprise. I'm at the home of another one of my BFs, one of my best friends. We knit together, we have fun together, and she's invited us over. Her name is Paula, and I want you to say hello to Paula. Paula, thank you so much for inviting oh, me. Joyce, been... thank you so much for coming. It's been forever. I've missed you. I've missed you, too. Well, tell me about what is going on. Well, uh, hello to my YouTube new friends, and welcome to my renovated, in the process of renovating, sewing room. Um, my husband, we're building a sewing unit, and I have, so I'll have more space for my yarn. So it's a work in progress, but it's much improved from what it was. So. Well, I thought it was beautiful the first time, <laughs> and uh, so I can't wait to see what he's doing. Well, I had a lot of clutter, and I'm trying to cut down on the clutter, but still have all of my things available, so I'm not in the middle of a project and have to run up and get this and get that. And So hopefully it'll all come together. Oh, great. Well, let's get this tour started. All right. I can't wait. Well, Paula, I see. Oh, you have so many beautiful things. Now... In this tool, what, what is this that you have now? What? Well, these are some of my favorite things that I enjoy knitting. I love purses. And so this is some of the felting that oh, I've done. Oh, that's beautiful. And one of my most favorite things and that I'm most proud of is this. Uh, it's hand-painted yarns. It's linen. Oh. A skirt. And I have worn this. I have washed it. And it is held up beautifully. Love it. Beautiful. Another one of my favorite things that I've just started knitting is called the English Garden Scarf. And for those oh. of us that, um, I like sock yarns, but I don't like to knit socks. So this is sock yarn, and I believe this is Kid Silk Haze. It's a very fine yarn. You would think it would be very hard to knit with, but it's actually very fun. And you can wear this several different ways. You can just tie it around like this. Oh, how beautiful. Or you can... Wrap it around and bring it this way. Oh, I love that. It makes a lovely gift. You can wear it with a coat or just a simple t-shirt. And it knits up. I mean, there's a lot of stitches on here, but it's fun to make. And obviously, I have made three. I gave one for a gift. And Oh, how gorgeous. I, I think it's just a fun thing to make. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is just a simple little shell. I love the color. It's made out of the Simply Karen. has a lovely little... Uh, Pico edge there. How beautiful. I love everything. Thank you. And of course, when I am up here sewing, my dog Tucker usually sits over here and keeps me company. So this is his chair. He likes to sit and look out the window. Hi, Tucker. I hope you're enjoying my <laughs> afghan. He says, I think we're, they're ruining my nap. Look, I hope you enjoy my afghan <laughs> Tucker that I gave Paul for her birthday. Yes, Miss Joyce made this for me and it is beautiful and it it stays right here because it goes, she's always um, into the blue with my um, sewing room and Miss Joyce made that basket for me as well, also blue. Oh, let's check that out too. Yes, it has oh, my name on it. Isn't that pretty? And over here, I have some other things that I've just recently finished knitting a pillows. They make great gifts, knit up quick. As a matter of fact, I gave one to a friend's daughter for a wedding. In the, it's white and uh, kind of shabby chic looking. And um, currently, I'm going to be a grandmother very soon in July. So I am knitting currently on my needles um, a baby afghan. Pink and gray. Oh, how beautiful. Very simple. I usually have a, a simple project and a more difficult project. And I fell in love with this shell from, um, it's the new Knit Scene magazine. Let's see that. It has the cutout in the back. And. Oh, that's beautiful. I loved it. Well, I picked this yarn, which I loved the color, but it's kind of a bugger to knit with. It's a Captiva. Captiva. I don't yeah. think I've I don't think I've knitted with it. It has a nice sheen to it, but it, it uh -huh. just it's hard to wind and it falls off. I had it knit I have a winder here and I knit it into a ball and mm -hmm. it just kept falling apart. So I have this tacky terrible 
toilet paper roll that seems to wrap it by <laughs> hand, and it, this seems to work a little bit better. Um, this is the back of the shell, but I have finished the... This is one of those that you have to piece together, so... Oh! This is the... That is gorgeous. Let me get a look at that. Top. Oh, how beautiful. And then, of course, the sleeves have to be put in. So oh, I gorgeous. hope I finish that at some point in time so that I can wear it this summer. Well, is that, uh, what about the one you have on? That's gorgeous. Oh, I remember is, that one. Yes, I knit this a long time ago. I love this. It's knit all in one piece from the top down, so there's no seaming that I'll have to do with that one. Mm -hmm. um, it looks really nice if you put a long sleeve shirt under it or just a little tank top like I have today for a warmer day. But oh. I love it. And it looks complicated, but it's really not complicated at all. It's a basic it's, stitches. It looks very good. It's very flattering on you. Looks Thank great. You. Thank you. Now what else? Uh, what is this quilt on the wall? I did not see that before. I took, I didn't have it out. I took quilting lessons many years ago and I love to put them together, but I don't like to quilt them. So I took it once I got it together and I had the store quilted. They ladies have quilting machines and, mm -hmm. um, and they did it for me. And I thought, well, it's, it's not really big enough for much, but it does make a pretty wall hanging here in my renovated room. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you. That's new. I hadn't seen that. And the, Now, the part that I want to show what the grand finale here is what your husband has built you. Yes, I'm very excited about this. I just had a small little sewing table that my sewing machine fit in. And it didn't have much for storage, and my husband does woodworking, and these are just pre-made um, cabinets here, but he put the, the um, I forget, beadboard um, facing. Uh -huh. So I have all kinds of storage for my fabrics and, and um, just odds and ends and notions, and it's kind of got that shabby chic look, and I have lots uh -huh. of room to cut and use um, my materials, and he's also going to build... So he's promised to build uh -huh. um, some shelves for me so that I can oh. put my sewing notions and have everything at the ready and then put some of my yarns in this other piece over here because it's kind of a mess. But, um, yeah, I do love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Joyce. He has done a fantastic job. I'm telling you, I have enjoyed this. YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my friend Paula's new and renovated room. I'm telling you, I hope it inspires you as it is inspiring me to go home and do a little better. <laughs> but I love everything you've shown us, and uh, we have got to get together more. I would love that, Joyce. <laughs> Thanks for coming, YouTube. my friend Paula's sewing and knit room. Wasn't it great? Oh, it was just, I just loved everything she's done. And I'm telling you, that's how you get inspired. One friend inspires another. So here I'm back at my knitting pro jam and I thought I'm going to get busy and I'm going to finish my sweater. So what's on my needles for this segment? Well, I finished my new sweater. And as you can see, it's um, in the same pattern style as the gray one, but I have added a new design. Oh, and you remember, remember I had gone to Michael's and found all of that glitter? Let me show you. Do you remember that I found all of this stuff and I thought, oh, it's so beautiful. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, surprise, surprise. Look. Look at my glitter on my sweater. 
What do you think? This is so nice and easy to work with. You just cut off what you need and hand sew it on. So one grapevine helps another. What do you think of that? So you see, you can take a little something and a simple pattern and just add something to it. I like this sweater so, uh, this pattern, it's just one I kind of made up. And using my stitch book, uh, put in a nice decorative stitch. And then, of course, the color of the little uh, bling here just worked out perfect. So I thought, hmm, Paula is, um, she showed some of the things and how beautiful they looked on her. And I thought, I've got to get busy. I've got to get even more inspired so I can inspire my friends at YouTube. Okay, so I think for, the, this is ending up April, I hope for the month of May, I'm thinking about doing this repeat as a tutorial. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to, I just love this color. This is one of my favorite yarns. I use this a lot. It's just big box store yarn. But you know what? I enjoy it. Yes, I do support our local uh, knit shops and I go, but you know, when I'm just knitting and want to enjoy something, $32 a skein mm, versus $5 a skein, this will work for what I need to do. And when I want something real special, uh, we'll take a trip to the knit shop. But this is just uh, Karen, Simply Soft, and this color, let's see, Lavender Blue. So if you think you might like to try and do the tutorial with me, uh, I've got two skeins. You will need at least a number eight uh, circular needle, at least 32 or 36 inches long. So that gives you an idea of what's coming up. I think you'll like it, and I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoy knitting this, and I'm telling you, every time I knit it, it looks different. But it's the same pattern, I'm telling you. I'm one of those girls, you know, have, are you like this? You find something you like, and then you go back and get it in every shade? Eh, it works for me. Like I say, I'm just a, a, I'm just a person that just enjoys knitting. Doesn't always have to be something great. Just needs to be something uh, that works for me. So, and my sweater, just like the gray one, has even has the little slits on the side. Goes great with these little black pants I got at Kato's my friend, and I went shopping, and, uh, oh, and this is the necklace Paula had given me for a birthday present one year. I can't remember whether it was last year or not, but you see how it really, look, isn't that pretty? See the little, see my decorative stitch? Just out of a stitch book. So what's on my needles uh, this time? Jay's new bling shoulder sweater. And I want you to see if you can get your things ready to knit with me. We'll start it in the next tutorial. But until then, keep being inspired, keep knitting, keep enjoying, and listen. From Jay's Knitting Pro Jam, I'll see you. Hello, YouTube. This is Jay from Jay's Knitting Pro Jam. And guess what? Today is Knit and Pearl's birthday. So we've invited some of their friends, and they've all been having fun. And uh, I thought you might like to go in and join the party also. So come on and go with me, and let's surprise Knit and Pearl. Surprise! Surprise! Hit it! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Knit and Pearl! Happy birthday to you! Yay! And many more! Yay! Well, YouTube, I'm so glad that you were here to celebrate Knit 
and Pearl's third birthday. Oh, they're so excited. They had all their friends. They got great gifts. Oh, we've had a slam dunk time. We have parted. We've sang. We've had a great time. So, well, Knit and Pearl, why don't you continue to enjoy your friends? And why don't I get take care of and clean up and uh, that way you can open more gifts and you, know, you can have more fun. So I'm just going to clean up and you just go right ahead and swim around and just have a great time. Okay? Okay. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's so good. Mm. What? Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.